Hello and welcome to the Whirly Bloke channel. Today I'll be reviewing this R349 1080p 60 frame per second HD 3 inch quad from Diatone. No sooner than I've reviewed the Diatone 349 than a new model has been released. The R349 is my current go to quad. It's so good I've actually got two of them. It's super fast, great fun, well built and rock solid to fly. And now Diatone have released this HD version which has got me wondering, is this the perfect quad? It covers all bases, you can race it, you can fly acro and you get full HD footage. And all this in a quad that's under 250 grams. Let's take a closer look. On first glance, this looks exactly like the original R349. It's basically using the same components and the build quality and finish is up to Diatone's usual high standard. In the box, you get the quad, a set of Gemfan Flash 3028 props, a couple of spare battery straps, cable ties, the micro buzzer board, a set of spare interconnect cables and frame bolts. You also get the Cadex OSD joystick to change the camera settings. It's the same 135mm 3 inch mono frame made from 4mm carbon which is beautifully finished and incredibly stiff. And at the core is the Mamba F405 flight stack which is basically a 20 by 20 stack with an STM Fury F4 MCP and the MPU 6000 6 axis gyro and it's got 60 meg of black box memory and at the bottom here there's the 4-in-1 ESC which gives 20 amps continuous and 25 amps burst and under here there's lots of noise cancelling capacitors and it supports all the usual ESC protocols including DSHOT 600 the VTX on the top here is a Runcam TX200U which is the same as the standard R349. It's got 48 channels and is switchable between 25 and 200 milliwatts. You can either use the switch here or there's a smart audio connection so you can change the channel in your Betaflight OSD in your goggles. And there's a small dipole antenna, same as the original, with a UFL connector onto the board down here. Now, the star of the power chain are these Mamba Racing 1408 4000 kV motors. I didn't really cover these in my review of the standard R349, but they're little gems of motors. They're punchy, responsive, but with a very smooth and predictable power delivery. Over the last few weeks of flying my standard quad, I'm mighty impressed with these. They really are excellent. And the big difference is obviously the camera at the front here. Diatone have squeezed a Cadex Turtle 1080p 60 frame per second Cadex camera into the frame. The Cadex board and the SD card are mounted just here between the flight controller and the VTX. Like all the other boards, it's soft mounted with silicon grommets and washers and this is the improved v2 version of the turtle that's got the larger glass lens with a much sharper image the canopy is the newer version 2 which is big enough to accommodate the larger lens of the cadex but the really clever part is the soft mount system diatone i've used to fix it to the frame They've used the silicon mounts and washers to totally isolate the canopy and the camera from the frame. It effectively floats on these bolts, just see it here moving, which means that any motor vibrations coming through the frame don't get through to the camera. They've got the same mounting system on the back here with these standoffs. You can see it just moves about a little bit. In fact, it's very similar to the system they came up with on the GT 2017 soft motor mounts. It's a very subtle but clever piece of design. Very diatone, in fact. 
To get this set up, it just needs the buzzer fitting. And this looks like it will fit in the front, same as before. And there's enough space on the back here and some little clips, which means we can tie wrap an FR Sky RXSR. And the wiring's got this JST connector ready to plug right in. So actually there's no soldering involved to get this set up. So what does it weigh? Let's have a look here. So that is 138 grams. I guess with nuts and a receiver on here, it's gonna be around 140 grams. Compare that to the standard and that's 132 grams. Obviously there's no props on here either, but there is a receiver in there. So it's about nine to 10 grams heavier. So quite impressive really, that this is only 10 grams heavier than the standard. It'll be interesting to see if this is as much fun with that extra little bit of weight. In the next part of this review, I'll cover setting all this up, the beta flight configuration and how it all flies. I'll also cover what I think are the best settings for the CADEX and get some HD flight footage. So I'm going to get started on this now because I'm excited to see how it performs compared with my current favourite R349. Thanks for watching and if you found that useful give me a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And if it's your first visit then please subscribe to the channel for updates. I'll see you next time.